Hello brothers, brothers, sisters, sisters, how you all doing? This is your boy, Cookie with Sindaku, and I'm back again. But before we start, if this is your first time watching, can you subscribe to the YouTube channel and tell the notification bell so you'll be notified when new video drops. Follow us on Facebook as well. Today's video is one interesting video that requires your attention and it simplifies life and happiness no matter what your situation or location is. Being in the midst of a group like this and uh, enjoying the company is, is like, it's priceless. Like, you, know, you never find this anywhere. Unless you associate yourself with them. And, uh, it's the best thing that I can ever get. It's like the joy and happiness, fresh air, like the jokes, the smiles, the everything. So before we set in the Vufunewa, this is the palm wine. Eh, um, um, pa, um. Let me drown. Uji nem, uji nem, uji nem. Eh, the chief tapa. Eh, what chief? So I'm in a face room in the Shanti region Kumasi where we prepare this delicious and nutritious meat like soup with food inside the bush or farmyard. Yeah, let's do this. Haha, <laughs> record. So we went to the farm here this morning to tap for palm wine and we had to eat during the day. The food that came to mind was fufu with soup. So we asked Diao to go and hunt for some crabs since he's an expert in that. What are you going to tell me? What are you going to tell me? No, I'm going to tell you. What are you going to tell me? I'm going to tell you. 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 I'm going to tell and the one reason why they are using matchet to peel off to chop everything is they can't use the small knife that was used on the palm tree because if by mistake you get hit by that small knife the wound won't die until the palm tree dies wow that's mystery <laughs> So this is jungle food and uh it's one piece of food. Hey! 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 Now for better type, uh, over type, over type, you know, over time. Work around too. <laughs> Man, this is interesting. So, as I keep saying, village life, like, one of the dopest things I ever have. Like, free happiness, free movement, yeah? I never knew that they, they, they were to pump food in the bush, in the farm. I thought I'm PC and all those stuff, like plantain and yam and all those stuff. I didn't know they have 
pistol and mortar and uh, they make soup, light soup, pepper soup and they pound for food in the farm, you know, in the forest. Man, these guys are living the, like they are living the life. They are living the life. Yeah. Forget those fried rice and like forget them. So while the food is going on, we're trying to make a bench, you know. We just made a tent and uh making a chair. Very consistent. Africa is really blessed with talent and skills. Within an hour or two, we were able to get some bamboos from the farm to make tents, bench, and a dining table. We got this car from the hole this morning and uh, it was interesting seeing how we able to have this club here. <laughs> I personally believe God did give peace of mind and happiness to the people in the village. I most of the times get carried away to the extent of me forgetting that I'm feminine and needs to ask questions. There's so much joy in the village, man. So much! <laughs> Okay. I'm going to Yeah, guy. 